welcome Gene Autry, that rambling rambler from Rainbow Ranch. Rocky Mountain Road, now I love you. You will bloom forever in my heart. You will always be the sweetest rose to me. Keep the love light burning. Soon I'll be returning Every little breath of the springtime Every little breeze that blows Makes my love grow dearer Seems to bring me nearer Back to you my rocky mountain road, rocky mountain road, how I love you, you will bloom forever in my heart, you will always be hey, that boy's got something those farmers understand, Sally. The love light burning. Soon I'll be returning. Every little breath of the springtime. Every little breeze that blows makes my love go dearer. Without applause and watch their faces. You want my account, do you? We'll sign him to a contract and you can have it. It's a deal. That's only a sample, folks. Come on out to the old barn dance tonight. We got a real show. And it's free. Yeah. Then we'll have some horses to auction off. The best in the state. To the highest bidder. Mr. Autry. Mr. Autry. May I see you for just a moment? I'm Sally Dawson, manager of radio station KLD. I'm mighty happy to know you, Miss Dawson. I just heard what you call a sample, and I think you're grand. In fact, I'd like to sign up for a series of broadcasts. You'd like to what? Don't you understand? I'd like to sign you for a radio program. Well, hey, how about me? Oh, the contract will include the whole troupe, of course. Well, I'm sorry, but you see, we're not radio entertainers. We're just plain horse traders. Well, it ain't gonna cost nothing to try. I'm convinced our listeners will simply swamp you with fan mail. I'm sorry, ma'am, but uh, that one business to take care of already. But don't you realize you'll make much more money broadcasting? Shut up that machine! Stop it, you idiot! with our demonstration? Huh? Oh, the demonstration. Yeah. That's a mighty proper tractor, all right. <laughs> sure did raise cane with that herd. That just goes to show you what a tractor can do. Why, even a whole herd of horses can't stand up against it. Well, that tractor wasn't scared, was it? <laughs> no, but I was. Now, really, you can't get along without a tractor. Well, I've been doing it for 30 years. What three horses good enough for me? 
Carol, are you all right? Sure, sis. It is a lot of fun. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. You were splendid. That's all right. I'm glad I could be of some help. And now, if you permit me, I'd like to help you. About that radio program... Oh, we... I don't think I'd be any good at selling coffee on the air. <laughs> no, but you'd do mighty well selling tractors. Tractors? Yes. You'd be singing and advertising for mammoth tractors. But you see, I'm known as a horse trader in this country. I'm just old-fashioned enough to believe that horses are better for these ranchers than tractors. But it's a shame to waste your talent selling horses when you could put it to so much better advantage. It wouldn't be wasted if you'd come to the show tonight. I don't mind telling you I'm terribly disappointed. But I'll come. Goodbye. Bye. Come on, Johnny. Okay, sis. All right, this magazine has That's come down. Back to the desk here. Why? Why? I we're on the air. Don't pay any attention to him. Just take the stuff out. What is this? Now, Miss Dawson, I told you that if I didn't get my money, that I'd have to remove this equipment. If you'll only have a little patience, well, I'm sure it that... It seems to me, Miss Dawson, that I've had patience enough. And anyway, why prolong the agony? You owe skin flint. I've invested every penny I own in this station, and you can't take it away. Yes? Well, this radio station can never be run on a profitable basis. You're wrong, Mr. Terwilliger. Mammoth Tractors have just agreed to sign up for a program. A big contract. Gee, sis, you finally hooked Thornton. That's swell. Marvelous. That's miraculous. That is, if it's true. Of course it's true. Well, well, you'll have to show me. And that's just what we're going to do. Sally, get Thornton on the phone. Make him come through with an advance payment. I'll stop this wolf from barking at our heels. Yes. Two eight nine J, please. <laughs> that count tried to put this station right on its feet. <laughs> There's no stopping us now, Sally. Hello. Hello, Mr. Thornton. This is Sally Dawson. Do you still want to sign up for that series of broadcasts with Gene Autry? Of course I do. Did you get him? Yes, I did. Fine. Get the contracts ready then. And, and could I have a few hundred dollars in advance for our payments on the... Um... Just as soon as I hear the first audition. Thank you, Mr. Thornton. I'll be over after the broadcast tonight. There, you see? Yeah, well, all right, I'll give you a chance. Remember, I'm coming back tomorrow for my payment. Or take this equipment. Let me see. We'll build two new broadcasting rooms and remodel the place. I, I think we ought to get one of those newfangled electric light signs for outside. Eh, Sally? Yes. Come on, Johnny. We're going to the old barn dance. I can't pick him up from here. Leave it to me. Okay. Many years ago, my daddy found romance when he found the sweetest girl at 
at the old barn then. Mother likes to tell they only took one glance. Then and there they fell in love at the old barn then. Couples sway. Everyone was gay. The barn was full of hay, hay, hay. While they played turkey in the straw, they loved each other more and more. Do like Daddy did. Just give yourself a chance. Find yourself. The sweetest girl at the old barn dance. It's the same old one and two that the old folks used to do to a merry fiddler's old quadrille. In the cobwebs and the hay, we will dance while fiddlers play, and we'll feel the same old thrill. We will hold each other's hand while we strut and look so grand when the callers call for promenade. Country dancing then and now with its curtsy swing and bow is the best dance ever made. Thanks a lot, folks. Thank you. And now... We'll start the auction. We will now return you to our station for a short interlude of recorded transcriptions. Take it away, KLD. Not bad. Not bad. Darn good, I'd say. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Fountain. What did you think of the program? You got something there, Sally. If you'll come over in the morning, we'll discuss the details and... I'll be over right now. All right, what am I bid for these four-year-old gilders? Gentlemen, well broke. Come on, speak up. Here's a pair of horses worth $300 of any man's money. Make me an offer. How about you, Harlan? Make me a bid. I bought myself a tractor. A tractor? Don't tell me you've gone in for one of those contraptions. Why, man alive! Riding on one of them big cocktail shakers is give you the St. Vitus dance. What about you? I got a tractor, too. Well, tractors may be all right for some things, but you still need horses. What for? Most anything. Can you put a saddle on a tractor? No. Can you talk to it? No. Can you pat it on the neck? No. It ain't even got no neck. Can you round up cows with a tractor? No. No. But I can do more plowing with one tractor than I can with a dozen horses. Well, I don't know much about plowing. But you can't take your girl out for riding on one of them things. How would that thing find its way home alone if she was trying to kiss her? Keep quiet, Frog. Surely all of you fellows aren't switching to tractors. I got the contract from Thornton. That's swell. Now all I need is to convince Jean to sign. Is the auction over already? Yeah. She didn't sell any horses. Gee, that's too bad. Well, Jean, them Grangeville ranchers pulled us that time, didn't they? Yeah, and it leaves us in a pretty bad fix. We ain't broke, are we? Almost. We don't have a good sale tomorrow in Brush City. Hello, Miss Sally. I've been wondering where you were. I'm sorry to hear your sales didn't go over. Well, it was kind of a disappointment to us, too. Oh, them Grangeville ranchers is local. They went and bought tractors. Can you blame them? Oh, I, I appreciate how you feel, but, well, you can't stop progress, you know. I guess you're right. Then why don't you sign this contract, and you'll make more money than you ever will with horses? What I said about tractors still goes. This contract's between you and me. I, I have other sponsors. Your show could be used on any program. I can't stay here. I've got all these horses. I've got to go on. 
You wouldn't have to stay here. In fact, it'd be better if you didn't. We could broadcast by remote control from wherever you are. Is it that simple? You'll sign? Well, hey, does that contract include me? Of course. All the boys are. Well, go ahead and sign it. Thank you. And KLD, ladies and gentlemen. And again, we take you back to Gene Autry and his Rainbow Valley Ramblers. Why don't you buy one of them tractors, Clem? If Gene's singing for them, they must be all right. Well... Maybe it is the thing to do. Go down in the morning and have a look at them, anyhow. Sure brought results, all right. I know how to pick a winner. Those farmers went for Autry like nobody's business. What you shenanigan about? That Maxwell Finance Company wants to take my tractor away. Same here, and I'm only one payment behind. This must be a mistake. Mistake nothing. The sheriff said if we didn't make them payments, he'd take our tractors. Now, you told me. Now, 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 don't get so excited. Mr. Peabody here will step over to the finance company with you gentlemen, and everything will be straightened out in a jiffy. Boys, come right along with me. Yes, Mr. Thornton? There's a bunch of squawkers coming over. Take care of them in the usual way. These gentlemen and I want to see Maxwell. Is this the way to treat our customers? Well, what's the matter? You can't take these tractors. Well, now, please understand. I don't want to take those tractors. Then what's them papers for? Well, after all, this is a finance company. I don't care what this is. Thornton assured me that... But Thornton has nothing to do with it. We bought his contract. And we're the legal owners of those tractors. You and Thornton are in cahoots, that's what. Oh, there's no use getting angry, gentlemen. There's nothing I can do. If you want to keep those tractors, you'll either have to make payments or put up security. I'd be willing to take... Take that, you swindling slicker. And now let's get Autry. If it hadn't been for him and singing for them tractors, some of us fellas never would have bought him. Can't get away with that. Better follow him to Inglewood and see what happens. by Frog Mill House. And then we'll start the auction. Let it go, Froggy. Listen to the whistles go. Listen to the way they blow. Don't you think they've got a pretty tone? This is the way they play. Play at night and day. It's what is called a new jazz sack of home. What to do, then you can play it too. You simply want to pull each string this way. And for the extra tone on my jazz saxophone, 
You give his tail a yank and make him break. Look, Gene, I'm getting it. You ain't even watching me. Why, well, sure I was. Hello, Sammy. Hello. How's things in Grainsville? Oh, same as ever. How's business? Been doing any better with the auctions? Well, they seem to like the show, but they don't buy any horses. Why don't you fall in line, too? What do you mean? If you weren't so bitter against tractors, I could have you broadcast for them. They'd pay you much more money. Than... I don't care what they say. That's one product I'll never broadcast for. Now, Sally, you wouldn't want me to do anything I thought was wrong, would you? No. Gene, there's something I've got to tell you. I've been wanting to tell you, but... Thanks, Audrey. Let's get him. I'd like to know. You fellas better do a little explaining. I suppose you're aiming to tell us that you know nothing about Thornton and Maxwell taking back our tractors. Suing us for what we owe. Taking our tractors away just at harvest time. I never thought you'd mix up with them crooks, Audrey. Why, some of us never would have bought them tractors if it hadn't been for you, and you know it. For the love of Mike, what are you trying to say? I'll tell you. I've been wanting to tell you, but... Tell we'll... me what? I lied to you. You've been broadcasting for mammoth tractors all the time. Not for me. Well, in that I'm partly responsible for this, I want to try to straighten it out. Well, what can you do? There ain't much anybody can do. You've harvested with horses before. You can do it again, can't you? Yes, I suppose you can. I've got 20 head here. You can split up among you now. Within a week, I'll be back from the range with enough horses to take care of every farmer in this country. So I'll have the boys saddle the horses. Come on, boys. Just a moment, Miss Dawson. So you thought you'd pull a fast one on me, too, eh? I'm sorry. There'll be no more broadcasts. No more broadcasts? That's hardly fair to me. Perhaps you've forgotten that I have a contract with KLD, that you've taken money from me under false pretenses. Can you pay back that money? No. Then you'll go on with the program. But how can we? Gene's gone. You've made wax records of the shows. We'll use those. Nothing doing. I've done enough damage to him already. Would you rather I turned your father over to the authorities? My father's a sick man, and the shock might even... Then we'll go on with the program. Come on, Johnny. If Audrey comes back with a lot of horses, it'll wreck your sales plan, won't it? Yeah, if he comes back.
All right, boys, let's cut out about 50 heads. All right, boys, I guess he stepped in a hole. No use tearing some into those rocks, boys. Let's go back and see how bad Texas hurt. You boys get him to a doctor quick. them daggone horses took out in a high lope for the tall brush, and it'll take eight days to catch all of them. Yeah, this is some of Thornton's work. Well, don't take much guessing to figure that out. Them farmers won't get no horses on Thursday now, will they? No, and I'm afraid they'll get desperate and sign their crops away if we don't get there on time. Well, what'll we do now? I don't know. You boys try to round up the rest of the herd and get them to Grainsville before the county fair opens. All right, Gene, we'll get them there. Frog, you come on with me. Now, you ranchers can do as you please, but let me remind you, the day the county fair opens, that's the deadline. Unless you sign up for then, some of you will be without tractors. All right, Maxwell, you've had your say. Now, get out. Give me two. Say, maybe Gene ain't a coming. What we said he'd be here with horses, he will be. Maybe, but he'd ought to be here already. Listen to Station KLD. I'll show you why Offer ain't here with a herd. But of all the stars that shine tonight. I reckon that accounts for Offer not getting here with a herd. We were fools enough to believe that he was on our side. Someday I hope I can get my hands on that double crossing. What's the matter? What are you staring at? Do we look like spooks? 
Now I know I ain't had a drink. How could... You're the only star in my blue heaven. And... That station's broadcasting a record of one of my shows. I'll put a stop to that right now. Come on, Frog. And we'll go with you. Keep up with the times, my friends. Let our courteous salesman explain how you can buy one of these tractors on the easy payment plan. Remember, Mammoth Tractors, the farmer's friend. Now the Maple City Fall will sing, the green grass grew all around. There was a tree, no tree. tree, stood in the woods, the, the deuce of tree, no tree. tree. That ever stood, that ever stood. and this tree wood was round the echo round the round. On this tree, on this tree, there was a nest, there was a nest, the fluffiest little nest, little nest. nest. You ever did see, you ever see, see. and this nest of branch, branch, tree, tree wood was round the echo round the round the echo round. And in this nest, in this nest, there was a bird, there was a bird, the prettiest little bird, little bird. bird. You ever did see, you ever see. see.
What are you trying to do, Gene? Shut up, I demand that you arrest this man. On what charge? On what charge? For attacking me and wrecking my place. Well, you'll have to swear on a warrant. Don't leave town. Come on, you fellas, get out of here. There's something I've got to tell you. Not now, Johnny. Some other time. Well, you want me to go down and swear out a complaint? No, we can do better than that. Well, getting that off your chest might have helped you, Gene. But it ain't done anything for us farmers. Don't worry, I told you I'd have horses for all of you, didn't I? Yes, but we got to have them by county fair a week or we're sunk. Well, when is the county fair? A week from yesterday. They'll be there. Bye, right, boys. We'll see you at the county fair. <laughs> Somebody can't warn him to keep away. Take it easy, Clem. As soon as the boys get here with those horses, we'll get that crowd away from Thornton. Great idea, bringing this band on from Chicago. Hey, Dee! There they come. Some of you ranchers are getting anxious. 
So we'll start the auction right away. These horses will be sold to the highest bidder, as usual. Since I know some of you Grangeville farmers have been pressed for cash, you can pay me later. Now here's a pair of horses four years old. General, pound is a dollar and vote. What am I offer? A hundred dollars. One hundred dollars over here. Just a minute, George. What's the matter? What's this? An attachment on your horses, Autry. Thornton is filing suit against you for damages and breach of contract. Damages and breach of contract? Yeah, damages to his radio station and breaking your contract. Sorry, Gene, but that's the law. Fellas, take charge of the horses. That's another of your tricks, Thornton. There's nothing for you farmers to worry about. Just talk to Mr. Maxwell here, and I'm sure he'll release your tractors. Yeah, sure he will. We shine away our crops. Gentlemen, the directors have agreed that today is the deadline. If you want to redeem your tractors, you'll have to act immediately. I guess we ain't got no choice, fellas. All right, you high-binding swindler. We've got to sign. That's better than letting the crops rot in the fields. Interested in buying a tractor, mister? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bet. Well, that's fine. Just step up here. Let me show you how this wonderful little well, thing listen, works. Well, listen, you, you don't have to show me how. If I if I want a tractor, well, I'll buy it. Say, do you know how to drive this thing? Well, sure, I know how to drive it. Well, okay, let me start up for you. All right. You need a self-starter on this thing. There it goes. Stop! Stop! Come back here with that tractor. Hey, you can't do that. Why don't you sue me? Brands on them, fellas. Go get them. <laughs>
was swinging records all over the place. He grabbed this one. I tried to stop him, but it's just too late. Well, Thornton, I guess your friend Buck has cashed in, and this record ought to take care of you. Come on. Yeah. 